said it's supposed to be raining today in the whole week, but hopefully it holds up just for a little bit. Although I was reading this, it says this Canadian city has already been hit with almost a meter and a half of snow. And they show you all these photos. I'm trying to imagine that a meter and a half of, I don't think they mean in one day, I think in total. I don't think I've ever seen a full meter and a half of snow even here before. They're even showing the total snowfalls, it says here, from September, November the 11th. It says here, according to the Weather Network, while the eastern province is used to snow early in the season, this actually marks the most snow on record for this short time frame. The network stated that Happy Valley Goose Bay picked up nearly 85 centimeters in October alone, with a total 139.6 centimeters measured by November 11th. These numbers smashed previous October records, which all sat around 60 centimeters in 99, 96, 62, and 44. I actually know a lot of people who absolutely hate the snow here, although it is funny because for me, even though I say a meter and a half of snow, in some places they get so much for them, it's like, whatever, like go back to work or go back to school. Whereas here, it's a complete disaster. I still love capturing the drone footage and stuff like that with the snow. Although again, I don't wanna push my luck too much since the thing isn't waterproof. So I usually only fly it for about maybe two minutes or so. And usually from what I've seen, if it's just regular snow, it comes out really dry. And then this kind of piqued my interest. It said, former NASA astronaut debuts joystick drone controller. So from the looks of it, instead of the traditional kind of two dual analog controllers, this one, I guess you could say it's more like what you would see in things like an aircraft. Although just for reference, I actually use controllers like these for video games too. But again, that's based on flying things like airplanes, I would assume. Here it says, most of the time drone pilots steer using video game style controllers or just virtual thumb pads and buttons on a phone screen. But helicopters and planes are steered by joysticks like controllers, so why aren't drones? Fluidity Technologies is working on just a controller with the FT Aviator now on Kickstarter. And darn, it started to rain. But I looked at the page and it says here, when an astronaut designs a drone controller, and you can kind of see what it looks like with all the buttons and in terms of the features and stuff here, it says, the FT Aviator is designed to incorporate the relevant four degrees of freedom movement to drone flying, eliminating the awkward interface and steeper learning curve of existing dual thumb controller drones. It intuitively unlocks human potential to fly and capture stunning imagery. So I guess that's more for people who actually flown, say, a plane or a helicopter to weigh in. Although, to me, I don't know, I'm used to using things like a video game controller, so I would imagine for myself that is more intuitive. And from one of the diagrams, it looks like the way it hooks up is you have the controller, this one, hook up to the other controller, whether it be a DJI product or whatever, and then from there, you would basically control the drone with a stick. And I was reading one of the points here, it says, to keep the drone from making any unwanted movements, a dead man switch is built into the device so it will always return to the center, unless directed. Tactile feedback should also help to reduce any accidental drift. At the top of the sticks are a few LED indicators that tell the users which direction the drone is in and which relative direction it's facing. I guess as usual, the more options and stuff to accommodate to a wide variety of people, the better. I think on my mind, I'm just wondering if one of the features is supposed to prevent people from accidentally hitting the stick too far or whatever, wouldn't you just adjust, for example, the sensitivity on the sticks and the controller? I'm just thinking for myself, when people come up to me, they're fascinated with a drone and I let them fly it just to experience it, I usually put it in things like a tripod mode, like when it comes to at least the Mavic drone. And that basically allows them to fly it really slow. So even if they crank the the stick all the way up, it still goes so slow, but it basically allows them to train, like to get used to it. Like I would think, isn't that mode good enough, like for the beginners? But again, the more the merrier, I suppose, in terms of the options. I'm actually fascinated to see if the thermal picks up those letters there. I doubt it though.
not enough difference in the temperature. Okay, doesn't seem to be raining in this little area here. Let's try to get a flight in. See you guys later.